Well, that's quite a wall. Virginia? Wow. Is that a neat wall? <laughs> is that the using as a, a desk it looks like? Okay. Hi, Virginia. Uh, hello. You got a cold? I know. Showing off the desk? Yeah. You know Nancy West, don't you? Um, no. Virginia. Hi, nice to meet Drew, you. Drew, she's the director of the visitor center. Nice to meet you. Do you want us to remove the stuff off? Do they want no, to? No, you can leave it off. Sure. Can you picture in here? My picture? Yeah. You're the director of the visitor center. Yeah. You're the face I'll, of the I'll, I'll stand with Bill. She's the, she's the face of the man. Yeah. So this how this was brought back here actually is Jeff Patterson from LBA was on his lunch break and he was down on the uh, on Store Street. Yeah, if you you want to start with this was in the state house from the Civil War on. Yeah, would well, you you bring it up to where it, when it okay. was moved. Okay. And here's actually a picture of it in here. If you want to see that? When I was in the house, and uh, this was right in front of Section 5, this table. It's right here. That's the table. Oh, do you mind? This is it right here. Excuse me. That's this and the reporters table. had access, direct access to the floor of the house. Reporters could just come and go during the session. And this was their desk right here. So they got to see all the body language. They got to see they were just you know, like the members. little individual caucuses that were taking place to strategize. They got to see all that, and then they got separated out into the... They, well, they're still allowed on the floor of the house. They're just in the back now. They're not in the front. Gotcha. So they're still in there. The press is still always in there. They don't have their own tables any longer. Right. But it was a much different time, yeah. and it was a much different media that we that they used in. It was all print media, it was all, I mean, we they weren't broadcasting them. there. And we actually paid them to cover the legislature back in those days. Oh, really? They were paid to cover the legislature. No, I it wasn't that. That's, yeah. that's news to me. So, I they mean, were paid by the state? By the state to cover the, by the legislature to cover the so legislature. So the people wouldn't know branch. what the laws were. Because they oh, wouldn't okay. know otherwise. Because there was no instant communication, 24-7 instant, it wasn't there. How so, many roughly reporters were there then? Well, I think there was, well, you can see there, there was probably four or five. They didn't want to, uh, New Hampshire's notoriously frugal, so you didn't want to pay too many reporters. Do you know what the pay, <laughs> so, do you know what the pay was? I don't. Uh, Virginia, do you know the pay? Well, I was just going to look, because someone asked about this. Like, well, the pay from the legislature was the same. Uh, well, yeah, so, so that was the same. <laughs> there was, the House had a policy, had adopted a policy of paying newsmen $50 a session since the legislature went into biennial in 1879, but the gift was raised to $100 for the 1887 session, and that rate continued until the practice terminated 20 years later. Right. This is from to this day. Right. And it, so, so the it, session wasn't a session day, it was the full session. Oh, so $50 the term a session? A session, so it was like the beginning of the session, and it, was a, it wasn't by, uh, uh, annual sessions back then, obviously. So, so. what was the year it turned well, I can give you a copy of this. It's so weird that I had just made this copy I for someone. Um, it was, it started, so they agreed to provide 350 copies daily for a dollar each, as all concerned an anticipated session would last for two months. Right. So and it's pretty good pay for two months back yeah, then. Yeah, and the final payment was boosted to 250 The papers were the Concord Monitor, Concord People, and Patriot, the Manchester Mirror, and the Manchester Union. Yeah. And the reporters were given a 100% emolument increase by the legislature for their work because of protracted deliberations. <laughs> Long-winded, in other words. <laughs> so you can have that. that so there was four. So that answers your question there. They used this 
until the legislature decided to have an electronic roll call. And when they went to the electronic roll call in late 74, early 75, when they decided they were going to invest the money and have a system, they did a little renovation in Reps Hall. And part of it was getting rid of this reporter's desk. Right. And so the desk in 1975 went away. Not to be seen. The again. part's unknown. It went, how, wow. Well, that was